welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is destiny i do all different types of lifestyle content but today we got a good one if you know and have seen my videos from the past and you know this backdrop you know that i'm about to do a tutorial and today is special because it's going to be a really nice and flirty makeup look for valentine's day and even if you're not doing anything for valentine's day just make yourself feel good do a look like this and you're just gonna feel a little bit more put together a little bit better we had fun with this look because i did something a little bit out of the box for myself where i added a little bit more pops of color yeah so if you want to know how i got this look then keep watching and let's get into it let's jump right in gotta clip my hair okay so i have not prepped my face yet but i have to okay so we're gonna use the photo finish smashbox primer and i really like this because it gives it like a very matte finish and it really does blur my pores because it says smooth and blur so I mean, that's what it does. It does have a consistency. Mm, how do you ex describe this? It's like a, um, like silicone, but it's smooth and it really spreads. It doesn't really feel too cakey. So it gives you a very like smooth finish. What we're gonna use for foundation is the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation. And I use the shade 120. Um, no false we're gonna use the fit me foundation in the shade 112 because over here it's winter and your girl's pale so when it's summer i use that one because i just get darker but we're gonna use this one because we have no sun over here i feel so freaking white in the winter I need to get some sun, you guys. I need like a vacation or something. I can't go tanning because I'm pregnant, so that sucks. But I need sun. Where are you guys? Where do you live? Because I'm in the Midwest. We get all four seasons like heavy. Let's see, are we gonna do concealer? Or are we gonna do shadow first? Concealer or shadow? I always toggle between the two because I'm just like, oh. like I don't like the fallout. And when the fallout happens, then my concealer's ruined. So you know what? Let's just do shadow. But before shadow, let's do brows. So what I like to use the... I use my Anastasia a lot of the times, but I switch between the BH Cosmetics and Anastasia. Honestly, I just went with the hype for Anastasia, but I really, really do like this one. It glides on good, and it gives you good strokes. Um, in brunette... Fun fact, you guys, I used to charge girls in high school to pluck their brows, and I loved it. Honestly, the shaping was so fun. Like, I just, the way I could shape a brow, like, it was unmatched. And I think I kind of fell out of it, but it's just because it's a practice you have to do constantly and just consistently, and then you just get the hang of it. I'm going to take my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye under eye and I'm gonna just clean up my brows. I'm just gonna take like a little flat brush, dip it. This stuff goes a long way. Here's the brows. I'm gonna use the Thank Me Later Eye Primer. Especially for us hooded eye girls, I feel like you want a nice, smooth, blank canvas to work on. And it just makes it easier to move around. The two palettes that I'm going to be using are going to be the Breakfast in Bed palette and the Carly Bible palette. Um, the reason that I'm going to be using these is because the Carly Bible palette has more neutral tones. You can see that she has more browns like light beiges she's got a few darker tones in there which is really nice because we're gonna go for like a very earthy but very pink popping eyeshadow and then this breakfast in bed has the pinks the purples and a lot of just the darker colors so we're gonna start by taking a fluffy brush and i'm gonna use carly bibles palette everything's falling i'm gonna start with the lightest shade she has she doesn't have any names on her palette 
but it is this very light color here and I'm just gonna want to focus up on the arch And then I'm kind of smudge it all the way in the corner, bringing it out. So now I'm going to take her third darkest color. No, it's not even. Does it go in that order? Yeah. Her third darkest matte color. I'm going to use the same fluffy brush and I'm going to just blend that out. Now we're going to get a little fun. So now I'm gonna go over to my breakfast in bed palette and we're going to use the shade Messy Hair. And it's this light, hmm, do you wanna call this purple? It looks like purpley-ish maroon. I'm gonna use a fluffy flat brush. So we're gonna focus on the corners and kinda just keep blotting and blending. So I'm already experiencing some fallout and if I would have did concealer I would have been so upset right now so you guys let me know what do you do do you do your concealer after your shadow or before I feel like I cannot do it before so now I take a big fluffy and then I prefer just to blend this out a little bit more to soften it up and I kind of move in like a swivel that way you don't kind of rub it off of your lids and you don't leave patches of where the shadow was. So you can see where there's just like this blankness here in my corners. That's because we will go over that with a darker color. Now I'm going to take a really fun dark color in pajamas and we're going to use this purpley shimmer in that corner. You guys, it's not that pigmented, so I'm gonna take more of an angled round brush that looks like this. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. finishing spray and just wet that brush so it can pick up the pigment of the color. Kinda gotta just keep dipping it. Honestly, you guys, you can find dupes of these colors in literally drugstore brands. And you can find them in palettes at CVS. This is not sponsored, <laughs> but they do have these deals sometimes where you get these like CVS box. And that is a good way to just get makeup for the low. So I always started out with that. I still even do that. There's literally no shame in it, but you gotta just experiment and see what works. So we're gonna take the shade Yawning, and that is this one right here. I'm gonna take a little round brush, and we're gonna start in the corners. This helps me to like push it in, instead of just like smudge it, so that I can get that darker tint. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blend brush and I'm just going to smudge that in so that I can blend in the colors so they don't look as harsh. Now I'm going to take an angled flat brush and I'm going to draw more of a line, pat in a line with the darker color. So it gives it more of like a winged effect. Then on my lower lids, I'm going to take the same concealer that I used to clean up my brows. I'm gonna dab some of my Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand on top of that so that I could add some shimmer and then that's gonna be that pop of color. Now I'm gonna take Curly Bibles Shimmer here. This is, I'm pretty sure, a highlight, but it's a pink highlight. So it's a very subtle pink and I like that. And I think, what better occasion than Valentine's Day? Okay, now we for real need to clean up these eyes because <laughs> I look crazy. I'm just gonna try to get smudge a little bit of the excess off. I'm gonna take my concealer, normally apply just like I would. I'm gonna let that sit for just like a second 
let that get tacky right back okay so now that it's tacky just blend baby blend Really quick, I bake under my eyes and I'm going to use the Becca translucent powder. While that bakes, I'm going to use some contour. Um, I was going to use my Fit Me stick, but my daughter destroyed it. So if you haven't seen that TikTok, go ahead and check it out. Or my short, it's on my YouTube shorts. This girl knows how to get into my makeup. She's Houdini with it because she knows exactly where to put it back even to make it look like she didn't touch anything even though the evidence is everywhere. So now it's really like <laughs> I can't use it. So I'm going to use my summer foundation and I'm just going to apply that and see where that gets me. Now I'm going to define my nose. So now that I concealed and I did my baking, I can go under my eyes and I can give it a pop of color, which is what I really want to do so that it just stands out. I'm going to go in with pajamas once again. I feel like it makes you look more awake. It's something I never really used to do, but when I started doing it, I saw the difference. See, like, can you tell the difference? I wanna go in with my Milani bronzer. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you, but anytime I hear Milani, my head automatically goes to Amber Heard's trial. Just how her lawyer was hyping up the compact. The color correcting compact i just can't look at milani the same anymore but i use this <laughs> palette i've used this bronzing palette since about high school and i don't know why it's just had me in a chokehold just one of those things you just have a comfort with and it's always worked good for me it's affordable it works well So now I'm going to be using the Balm Cosmetics and their Alternative Rock collection. I'm going to be using the shade Bare Minimum for their blush. It's a very subtle blush, so I like that it's just not like boom, pink. Hmm. So you know, you could leave the eyes like this, but... It's Valentine's Day, and I kind of just want to boom. So I'm thinking of adding sparkle. What do you think? That I should leave it? Because I don't think I should leave it. I think I should add some, a little bit of something. I'm going to use the Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow, and I swatched it. Kind of subtle, kind of not. We'll find out. It's got like gold specks. It's very pretty. I'm going to start by the outer corner, work my way in. Hopefully, I don't regret it. Okay, no, you know what? This is really cute. I think that just completed the look. This added like a flirtatiousness to it. You see what I'm talking about? This is giving Valentine's. I'm gonna take her highlighter and I'm gonna soften up the corners. All right, so now I'm gonna do a very, very tiny wing just to give it accent. I tried to find the best liner I could, and we're just gonna go with the Revlon. That's Colorstay Liquid Liner. I prefer a pen, because I feel like liquid is just way more messy. Again, we're just gonna roll with it. And then I added some bottom liner. So we're gonna curl the lashes. Did anybody else used to use a spoon back in the day? I know I'm not the only one. 
and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Rocket Express Mascara. I really like it because it has the silicone. It has those little nubs on it. It just breaks up your lashes really good. Guys, I bought some dramatic lashes and these ain't it. I don't know. I don't know how you girls do it. I wish I could pull it off. But I just feel like I have feathers like on my eyelids and I just can't do it. So I'm going to use Ardell's lashes. I'm going to just use these for my outer corners. And then I also use Duo's lash adhesive and I use the black one. So I ended up using Ardell's single, but not single, they're triple lash, individual lashes. I'm going to have to link everything down below so that you can get all of those products and you have the right information on it but i did three strips of those so it just gives a fuller effect on the ends now i'm gonna do my lips i'm gonna use revlon's color stay longwear lip liner in sienna it looks like this and i'm gonna do a combo with a lipstick actually it's like a lip stain so it dries matte and it's L'Oreal Paris in shade 418. 